Men, pag nanalo tayo sa saling. Mm. Ito, oh. So, pa, pa, may part kaya dito na challenge lang nila yung sarili nila. We'll see. We'll see. Season 3 champs going up against Season 4 champs. Hopefully, we get to Game 4. But let's focus on Game 3 with Rob Luna and Midnight bringing you the action. Yes! So, we're back, my guys. It's gonna be a match point dito. This might be the last time na makikita natin for the uh, MPL Champion Invitational in Season 3. If they could not be able to force a Game 4, uh, of course, Midnight, what do you think dito sa draft natin? Masyado natin mahabang pinag-uusapan. Pero, ang mata ko dito, nakatingin na naman kay Rio ang league. Uh, uh, yun nga, nakakuha na ng first blood na naman, no? Again, it's the signature of Season 3 Champions. Kung usap mm-hmm. ang draft, I think very viable talaga ang link when it comes to 1-3-1 meta. Pero I think the reason why they buffed up, uh, they, bleh, they buffed up the link on this patch kasi ina-expect ni Moonton, no? With the nerf on the masks and how the economy works as uh, Jeff Pini forever takes uh, Uranus down on the top lane. By the way, halos wala nakakatala sa 1v1 tsaka Angela. So I think inexpect niya no inexpect na ni Moonton na magiging meta talaga yung 122 and Ling is relatively weak in the 122 meta kasi one of the uh, signature counters against Ling was the Esmeralda mm-hmm. and kapag wala si Esmeralda the usual answer is the Harit kasi your main problem with Harit is hindi mo siya makokombo ng Tempest of Blades no kasi nga ang ang lick ano niya ang Malikot. gas flow niya eh diba kaya nga naging ano eh naging idea din na bakit hindi sila ang silot itong patatang kay Ling kasi kaya naman ay may mobility as KLBJ mukhang babatay siya dito on the bottom lane pero yun nga Tempest of Blades and Maan KLBJ taking down the Masha oh uh, grabe naman si Rafisha nagpapakita dito top lane no and Jeffy Forever will most likely fall to the Harit with the Summon Force, com- uh, Summon Force committed by JP yes definitely pero dito Losty trying to hold on dito sa turret dito nung Angela and hindi pa rin makakapag push meanwhile up to the bottom lane full sakit dito lang ang ngali pero revitalized is being popped pero habol dito kill VJ tumatak botak botak bo na rin dito kilowatt going out and that's gonna be the end of the skirmish mga kaibigan and going back lang medyo maganda naging start dito ng season 3 champion and gaya nga nang sabi mo totoo at naniniwala ako yung Angela ang hirap labanan in terms of the 1v1 oo uh-huh. Uh, I think na, si na ako eh. oh, I think si Rafael lang yung may fair chance or actually di ko di ko pa alam yung ano no, yung matchup na yun no. Mm-hmm. Uh, pero kill mo bottom lane breaker oh! out si Jeff Pero the Zaman Force is gonna be committed by the Harit to secure the kill on the Cho and si Jeff Kitty forever yung susunod no. Gusto niya sana protectahan yung tropa niya unfortunately wala silang panlaban kay JP. Oh! Oh! Okay, wala pa silang panlaban kay Harit in the specific game. Jay in the middle lane is being uh, gas by four heroes of Season 4 Champions pero napakita ang ultimate mula kay Atas unfortunately siya naman yung tirmaan ng para pero meron namang flicker out sila kasi niligtas niya lang yung tropa niya rito no? si Ryo naman yung susunod na kalaban wala nang ultimate yung mga actually may ultimate pala no? ayan nila pag nangangang ni JP pinakita niya na yung Zaman Force most likely ball and that's gonna be a- another kill for JP one kill for the entirety of that skirmish no 30 to 1 30 seconds to 1 minute nangyari si Ling lang inumatay ang masama nun si Ling pa yung namatay oh, 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 sana yeah. binigit na si Lasty kasi ano si uh, J totoo totoo yun hindi rin kasi nagkaroon ng synchronization in terms dun sa fatal links doon ni Lasty medyo napaaga pero ito na nga si J yung dito mukhang tatamaan ng pana pero hindi tatama pero habol pa dito apat na miyembro na season 4 will be taking down J and this might be an easy turtle para sa kanila ito yun no ito yung uh, weakness talaga ni Ling bago siya naging ano no bago siya naging Meta Lords mm. yung 1 2 relatively weak talaga siya kasi oh, oh. Uy, my goodness Rio with the retribution timing time is a blaze ginamit na ni Rio mamapat na niya si Lina pero sa Harit sa Aman Force has been committed already by JP pero hindi siya makahanap ng target dahil nandito rin yung Atlas protecting the heroes of S3 champions and the triple kill is there pinapatunayan ni Rio na anong pinagsasabi mo wala lang <laughs> kahit may Zaman Force anong weak relatively weak weak 1-2-2 two, two. wala akong pakialam grabe grabe what a very timely manner na makapasok ay makabalik doon yung lane nakuha na yung turtle nagkaroon pa siya ng triple kill balik na dito sa laro na to uh, dito si Rio and pick up doon si Lasty sa may top lane pero habol pa sila dito Renzo masyado makuna going back Fuzakin may actually be the one to mamamatay sa may bandang likod habol si Rio makakapatay nga kaya pero sabi nila dito Midnight, it's gonna be a comeback. JP, balik dito with the Zaman Force. Takbo na muna sila, Jay, and that's gonna be a one-for-one one exchange. Rio naman ang namatay. Oo. Uh-huh. At dito mo mararamdaman yung kahinaan talaga ng, uh, ng Ling against 122 Kasi essentially dalawa yung course no? The reason why Ling was the strongest assassin Nung 131 kasi kaya niyang patayin lahat ng funnel oh. Kahit si Claude, kahit si Lee, ay si Kari kaya niyang patayin yan Pero if you're faced against two cores no? Prob- Laki problema niyan And mind you kailangan pang isipin si Uranus, si Masha, and si Basha Lah- Which is lahat ng yan kayang tapatan din 
yung Ling no. So if ever man mag snowball si Ling dito, kaya niya naman mang burst down. They definitely have the win condition in uh, winning this game. Kapag nag snowball si Rio, that's a very big condition for S3 champions. They need to have a very good game on Rio on this Ling. Pero again, you're faced with two cores and usapang two cores to no, JP on the bottom lane. Already committing the Zaman Nako. course pero mapapatay si ni Kelby ni uh, ni Rio si KLBG on the back lines pero again you're faced with so many enemies mapapatay ni Selena si uh, Ling dito no with the sustain oh, that came out from Puzakin on the revitalized Raplisha grabe naman dunga the moves ali dashes mukha yung Selena kulang sa last tinapakulang tinatarget yan on the Atlas the ultimate wala pang ultimate si Lassi rito no wala siyang may kakasa as the turtle response sabi niya kamusta kayo mga tropa oh, oh kamusta nga kayo dahil yun well napatay naman ni Renzo doon sa taas yung Carmilla pero what the story of the game doon sa baba patay parehas yung hyper carry ng uh, both of the teams uh, I think uh, ano eh kung hindi na pick off doon si KLBJ they could be able to pull off yung laban doon and oh. yun nga laging dumadating si Rio at the right moment at the right time now ano ka kaya ang mga magiging magandang ikot dito kasi medyo laging napipitas ngayon ha, si KLBJ doon sa may bandang uh, bottom lane Yeah, actually yun yung pwedeng gawin ng S3 champions. So, pitas-pitas nila si KLBJ kasi the nature of Nasha talagang mag split push yan. Yan yung hihiwalay sa S4 champ. So yan yung pwedeng bulihin ni uh, Rio and the gang. Pero ito kung nakakontest yung blue buff niya. Alam ng S3 champ na hindi sila pwedeng pumunta ng bottom lane kasi baka makauwi blue buff. Rio, getting the blue buff here with the retribution. Mapatay si Basha Tempest of Blades. JP nakalayo with the Zaman Force. Pero look at the lane alongside the Angela. Pero dalawang course dito. So back out muna si Rio. Naiintindihan niya na hindi enough yung damage output niya this time around to take down the Harit. Pero the big problem the problem is on the bottom lane, Nasha oh. is pushing. By the way, itong turtle na ito, tignan natin yung gano'ng kabilis mamamatay. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, there's gonna be less than 10 seconds, mga oh, kaibigan, five, para sa isang five, Masha. Well, sinournament na ni JP. Dilapagan niya na ng Zaman Force para talagang hindi na manakaw. Katulad sa nangyari kanina dito kay Rio. Yeah, grabe. Etong uh, etong uh, Ling natin no kahit paano nagpapakita pa rin he understands the uh, the mechanics of how Ling works kapag may humiwalay sige laban tayo no the very big problem that season 3 champions are facing right now is during the time of updates kailangan may mabers down na target now you need to choose a target on the side of S4 champions ito nila pag naizaman for time of updates from the last tagdag mo pa yung ultimate ni Carmela my god this mabubura sa Swear Champions, tag niya na yung trophy nito. And Harit will be taking down si Masha yeah. na nakilitira on the bottom lane. Sunod-sunod, sabay-sabay kinumit lahat ng meron ng S3 Champions Fatal Links. Pati na yung ultimate ni Ling and Carmela. What a very beautiful team fight from S3 Champions. Oo, oh, oh. alam mo yung pang-highlight na pang-highlight. Uh, I think tatlo nga yata. Tatlo ba or apat yung nakuha niya doon with the Fatal Links. Tapos sobrang uh, tato, 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 tato. Oh, dikit-dikit sila. Doon sa Tempest of Blade, tapos yung mga dashes, definitely habol sila. Pero, isa sa mga magiging problema Season 3, of course, Kelvin. Nakasin sila dito, si Angela pa, bad boy 4 plus 1. Pero, napatay pa rin naman siya dito ni Jeff Cutie Forever. Kala ako, mababay 1 take 1 pa eh. Yung dalawa eh. Grabe, tinapahangan lang. Sabi niya, sige, sama mo niya, Angela. Wala akong pakialam. And that is with the, ano, with the advantage of the gold. Then as well, on the, the item. Kasi naka-win talker, si ano dito, no? si uh, Masha. And Blade mm. of Despair. Si ano dito, no? si Cho. So, mataas yung damage out. But problem is, kailangan makonsider mo yung passive niya. Hindi nagpo-proc agad yung Masha kasi you need to have a 50% HP threshold. Pero ito, Ling has taken down the Selena on the blue buff. Actually, na nakuha ba ni uh, Ryo? Hindi, hindi niya nakuha yung blue buff. No? Nakuha ng S4 champions. no So, yung damage output ni uh, ni Kilowash at that point was not really that effective. Kasi yung 50% threshold ni, ano, actually 40% threshold ni Blade, Blade of Despair. Ang tagal mag-proc doon kay Masha. Tatlo buhay niyan. Oo. Oh. <laughs> Parang ang hirap time, I mean, uh, tap timing yan. Pero to, we'll try front John, the pop dito ni JP, pero habol pa dito. Lusty, kahit mag-isa dito yung ating uh, Harit, eh kailangan gamitin yung Fatal Links. Look at the Tempest of Blades, mga kaibigan, dalawa, papapain sila dito. The Cho is actually going down. So, yung talikod, Kel J, no, kinakalmot, kalmot, even the Angela, that's gonna be a two double kill. Habol sila dito, pala, tumama. Dito kay Lusty, flicker out, mga kaibigan. Nanggigigil na rito, Season 4 Champions, chasing in, going in. Habol pa sila dito, yung pala, medyo nabing test, but Jay will be the one to die dito mga kaibigan and that's gonna be a 2-4 actually a 3-4-1 exchange mukhang mababasag yung tore dito sa itaas grabe alam mo yung players natin habol na habol pero yung cameraman din natin habol na habol pati bottom lane tignan niya sabi niya baka may laban dun I mean Lord will now be the first primary objective of season 4 champions after that team fight alam nila na itong Lord na to malaking bagay to imagine 
a lord going inside the base of S3 champs alongside the Harit with the Zaman Force. Although nakakatakot pa rin yung teamfight oh. capability ng Ling at ng uh, Atlas, you need to connect everything to have a decent chance. And mind you, yung Season 4 champions, yung nature nila is nagdidikit din talaga sila. So again, yung advantage nang gagaling doon. Pero the very big problem that they will be facing is the damage output. Enough ba yung damage output nila in the Rock Teamfight? And Jay dito, mukhang mapipitas na yung Carmilla natin. And Season 4 champions, they are gonna be fighting with the Lord with a man advantage as Jay will respond for the next uh, in the next 25 seconds. Oh, oh at may tier 1 I mean at least by level 1 lord pa dito na magagaling sa top lane. Ah uh, medyo yung balikan natin team fight na yun no pero ay uh, yung patigas pero mamaya na dahil yung Zaman Force nila pag naagad dito ni JP sa gitna gusto na nila kaagad pa sa akin pero dito papasok naghahanap si Last dito ng tamang opportunity wala to use the penalty pero wala siyang flicker. Yun lang nga ang ginagawa dito season 3 hindi yata nila madedepensa na tago 1v1 pa sila Kyle VJ hindi pinapauwi dito si Rio with the main damage dealer ng season 3 Lord, the Lord boy by Lord and Kilo Watch by the way meron tayong masha dito na naghihintay lang ng reset ng kanyang HP the Lord will be slain pero round 2 for season jump season 4 champions Kilo Watch nakahuli niya si Reggio dito no? pero the bigger problem is the Harit with Zaman Force hindi kaya laban ng Rio last yung wala ng boy dito nung nagamit na rin yung flicker and ultimate oh, and wala oh my god the sustain is there from the Basha makapatay nila si Reggio dito no? pero it's just the Uranus Every important course on the side of Season 4 champions are still alive. Raplisha, as tama din yung Selena, JP with the Zaman Force, sinahabon niya, si Jeff K forever, Kilowatch, ginamit ng CPAP, and the Winter Trancher is there, pero nasa maling pwesto siya, walang minion wave to protect him from the tower, and Rio, he is chasing out outside the base para makahabon siya ng kill dito. Oh my god! Sexy yung sumariyo, dating na kumpanya, Selena! Mabapagay ang strap niya dito! Minya! Boy, the limb, my goodness! Oh my god, that's gonna be a mania. Pero the story of that fight, mga kaibigan, is yung pangungulit ni Kel VJ kay Rio. That's the reason na hindi nakapag-depensa ng maigi yung Season 3 uh, in terms of the middle lane as, as well dun na sa top lane hanggang sa nabasag na rin yung ibaba. Uh, somehow, may 10 seconds na dead timer pa naman dito for the rest of Season 4 champs. And I guess hindi pa naman sila agad maiisang diretso dito. Pero ngayon, wala nang inhibitor turrets dito ang Season 3 at mahihirapan na sila dito na makadepensa. Grab, Rio, balik ka na! <laughs> <laughs> Grabe yun! Men! <laughs> sexy nung ginawa niya dun ha! Sobrang sexy nung ling dun, men! Sabi, problema! Tat, tat, anong dalawang core? Apat! Sige, papatayin ko! Pero ito, lalaban na yung Season 4 Champions. Ginamit na, exhausted na yung Zaman 4 JP. So this is a proper timing for S3 Champions to fight. They just need to find proper positioning. Pero the better positioning is on S4 Champions. Nahuhuli nila si Losty. Walang flicker, wala rin ultimate. Actually, ginamit yung ultimate to get away. Pero hinahabol lang sila ng heroes na S4 Champions. Rio will be forced to use the flick the uh, ultimate to get out. Angela Puma tong na rin no wala nang tempest of blades although wala na ring uh, actually meron nang ano meron nang zaman force si uh, JP Ron, pero he was not willing to commit the zaman force kasi alam nila the next objective is the base pwedeng sa base ilapag lahat ng skills ng S4 champions dito totoo yon totoo yon medyo nanganganib and well at least Kel VJ dito na pick off naman ni Kilowash so somehow i think makaka-depensa pa naman dito ang season 3 champion and probably a lord uh, uh, level 2 Lord ay makukuha pa ba Renzo rito masyado siyang makunat ang problema like... ngayon nila dito hindi nila kayang i-burst down kaagad dito si Renzo mm -hmm. going in sila rito JP rito medyo 7-4 sila pag pero next na link sa ito na focus na natin dito si JP gonna be the bad stealer pero buhay pa din pumabalik pa pati ang buhay niya Rafflesia will be taken down by Rio kaya pa nga Kilowash will be down mga kaibigan Rio sa may gilid naghahalap lang na mapapatay with the Angela nakasama niya dito Jay out na muna oh my god that's gonna be a 4 2 x Zaman Force! Si JP nakamit ang trancho, mapapatay siya niling dito, no? Alongside the Tempest of Blades, nakahuli siya! Mira nyo, very nice catch! At nakita niya, okay, wala kang Zaman Force. Sige, papatamahan kita nung knock up ng Tempest of Blades. Hindi nakapag-refresh ng Chrono Dash. Si JP on the back lines. Very beautiful play from Rio. Nagbubuhat yung champion natin, mga kaibigan. And si Rio, hindi ipatapos. Sinahabol niya yung nakamit ang Tempest of Blades. Problema niya sa Masha. The damage is here! Pero meron siya yung pantakbo alongside the sustain from the Angela buhay pa rin ang pag-asa ng S3 champions JP he thought natapos na kaya niya sana labanan unfortunately hindi nag-refresh yung Chrono Dash and nahuli siya sa may backline the Winter Transit actually worked against him uh -huh. kasi hindi, hindi siya nakahit eh so hindi siya nakatakbo kay Link 
Totoo. And there's may medyo mapapansin na rin natin dito na medyo kinakapos na in terms of the damage dito ang Season 4 Champion. And mapapansin mo, even last day, talagang pinofocus niya na lang si JP kahit mag-isa. Kasi once na natanggal mo sa equation dito ang Harit, sobrang madali na yung magiging ikot dito ni Rio in terms of killing everyone para sa side ng Season 4 Champs. Oo, isolated lang talaga, isolated targets yung hinaharap ni Rio, no? Very mm. well commended nga yung teamfight na yun. Even though he was losing his teammates, inuna niyang patayin niya si Lina kasi alam mo mm. magiging malaking problema yung si Lina kapag napatay na yung Atlas. Kasi wala na siyang kampe, wala na siyang maaasahan. So he, fa he fought the one hero that can actually take him down in the next succeeding teamfights, no? So that was a very beautiful decision from Rio. Unfortunately, this time around, mananakawan siya ng blue buff. I believe, na-retry ba niya? That is the question. Ayun, na-retry niya. Grabe naman si Rio. Ito, nagdikitikita naman yung apat, pero na-ultimate na ni Jay yung apat dito, no? Pero walang follow-up, walang Nako! ultimate. Si Lasty, nako po! Taray na! Yung campaign ni Rio dito, no? Kakayaanin po ba niya? Pumatong na si Angela. The added sustain is there, pero the base is very much open for S4 Champions to actually end the game this time around. Si Kilowash, buhay pa na. Sa may bandang likuran, pero Jeff Kiri forever will be forced to flicker out Rio. Clearing up the minion wave. Walang, walang minions ang S4 Champions dito, no? Sila naman ang walang minions. Walang. Well, meron na sila dito sa may bottom lane. It's just gonna be a matter of time lang. Pero buhay pa dito Si Rio Just trying to target Yung mga minions Dahil baka baka matay pa siya Pero that's gonna be The end of it mga kaibigan It's because 3-0 What a clean sweep dito Para sa ating Season 4 champions Grabe Ito na yung masasabi mo I did my best But my best wasn't good enough Good enough Oo Grabe Si Rio no Even though This was a very clean game From Sun Very clean series From Sun S4 champions no 3-0 Iba pa rin yung display na pinakita ng S3 Champions, specifically 